if you're watching it right now, and it's true, you like this DeFi shit. You absolutely love it. You love going into your wallet. You love withdrawing. You love seeing investments work. You love being outside the box. You love it. You can't stop it. You can't resist the fact that if in you, it's always been in you. Well, to me too. Pause. But anyways, just remember this. One, remember one thing only. One thing only. You gotta take freaking rest. Because guess what? You might be here tomorrow. But are you really living for today? Run the f music. I need some money. And I need Let's have a right conversation. Now. Welcome back to the show. Let's just have a clear, simple conversation. This is one of those episodes where we're just chilling back, smoking one. Uh, I know a lot of you guys in the comments asked for it, but I'm not going to smoke for you unless you're paying me. But hell, you know, it's one of these days where I'm like, let's just be clear Franco with the audience and just kind of just keep it 1000 for a second. All right. I've been in Capital Liam for about a week now. And it's been exciting. It's been really f exciting. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have that bleeped out. But it's been really exciting because I literally can see the money grow. Um, if you're gonna come up to me straight up and be like, yo, should I drop five, 10, $20,000 into it? No, I don't think you should. I think you should drop whatever you can afford to lose. For most of you watching me right now, that's probably not 10, 20, $30,000, but hey, if this so happened, the Prince of Dubai is watching me at the moment, then so shall be it. But at the end of the day, we got to take a look at these things too, okay? This is real facts. I'm not boasting anything about this specific thing that I'm about to say here. I'm just going to keep it 1,000 with you. And I want people to understand this is really off the record, off scripted. In a full transparent mode here, okay? And I want to bring up a subject that honestly is a true thing that a lot of you are gonna sit back right now and you're not gonna like it, but it's true. Let's talk about it. A lot of these actual legitimate companies, actual legitimate traders, actual legitimate brokers, actual legitimate LLCs are running in the bounds of a centralized law set form, you know, or even the ones that are not centralized that are still 100% legit, right? A lot of those companies actually end up what? Going down. This is real shit. Actually go down. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them. I'm not going to say the names. You do your own research. But a lot of them go down faster than the ones that are actually Ponzi. Let's let that sink in. Let that sink in for a quick second. And I'm being dead ass serious here. If you know how to use the internet, we're in the year 2023 right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is off the record, this is uncensored. Well, it's kind of censored, but let's well, just be completely frank here. This is capital Liam. I put a lot of fucking money in it to a lot of people. To me, it's that I can afford to lose it, okay? I'm getting my withdrawals daily. I see my dividends, but I'm going to keep it 1000 with you. A lot of people won't tell you this. Okay. But the companies that you think that are actually legitimate companies, a lot of the companies, I'm not saying the fortune 500, I'm not mentioning any names. You can do your chat GTP and do your research, but I kid you not. A lot of these Ponzi nomic companies end, end up running a lot longer or end up profiting investors. I'm not even sure if you want to call them investors if you're in Ponzi, Ponzi-nomics or Ponzi, but whatever you want to call them. Why do you, do you ever find a situation where you find a guy saying, yo, X, Y, and Z, they're bringing home X, Y, and Z killer money. They're coming home with like $100,000. And you looking at yourself and you're like, what? When, when, how? But the problem with money, ladies and gentlemen, is 
really not how it comes, but when it comes to a lot of people. Similar to when we go down and we want to get married, what do we do? We find the women of our dreams and we marry them. Or some of you guys end up, well, that's a whole other story, but let's just keep it 1,000. You go to the jewelry store and you invest money. You invest money into a diamond that has value to that woman. Did you not care that diamond came from a blood? Do you not care if a person got shot because of that diamond? Do you not care if that diamond was not even thin air and all of a sudden it was in a lab created by men and it was just put up in the air and now it's a value? No, because that woman has cared of value. The only reason why we're going to work, the only reason why we're actually investing time in anything is because we don't have a full-on complete society that expresses kindness for payment. And what I mean by that is if you guys seen the movie uh, or series Black Widow, I believe that's called it, what it's called. Shout out to Netflix even though you're not paying me. If you've seen that, you see, I got a little bit of motivation. I've seen that several times, and this is not like recently, but this is something to say that if we were rewarded in a, by the, our investments in our emotions of kindness that allowed us to walk into a Lamborghini store or a Birkin bag store and be able to look you up and say, oh, well, you've done X, Y, and Z amount of kindness for the day. So since you invested that much in kindness and to, into energy into the world, we're gonna present you with that. We don't work in that type of world. We work in the world of the blood. <laughs> the blood diamonds. So sometimes rather it being the her, being the woman, her could be your fantasy, it could be your dream car, it could be your dream house, it could be, you know, your dream vacation, it could be what you love to do, what you love to eat. That is your her. And so, <laughs> hell, what am I talking, right? All I know is I'm just a guy on YouTube. I invested into a platform called Capitalium and it's making me digital profit and I see the profit, I'm able to withdraw the profit and that's the end of the story. What's keeping you from investing? Well, that's on you. But for me, <sighs> for me, it's just about taking it day by day, guys. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. Oh.